Dirtle Magic. Thank you for tuning in to Dirtle Magic. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you like the content you see here today, and leave a like and share the video with someone you might think is interested. Leaving those likes really helps us out, but another way to help us out is by using our TCG Player affiliate link below. If you're looking for singles, sealed product, or gaming accessories, please consider using our link to support the channel. We also have some playmats at inkgaming.com. Go ahead and hit the link in the description to check those out. Alright, let's grab some spells and dirtle with some magic. Hello everyone, uh, excuse the creepy eye, this is one of my more favorite personal playmats, but today we're opening the box of the Double Masters. Yay, very excited to open this box. I am hoping to get certain things out of it. I have been watching videos online before I got to mine. It looks like kind of a hit and miss. But let's open this one up and see what we'll get out of it. Uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of things you might be hoping for if you're going to get singles. Well, I guess you don't need to help them, do you? So if you're going to get open some packs, you gotta box yourself. Something like that. I'm hoping for a sneak attack, a land tax, and mana echoes. Just because I like red, I like white. And frankly, I don't have those. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, ooh, lots of extra packaging. Just all of it. All right. Lots of extra packaging. Looks like we got a, a lopsided booster pack here. And the two, ah, oh, it's all warped and stuff. Ah, oh, that's sad. I don't know, can you see that on camera? I don't know. It's uh, it's very warped and then just, uh, like that. All right, well, we'll open these last. I'm very excited to open these though. Now I don't know what stack they went in, so if you are a person that likes to keep track of stacks, I'm sorry. Uh, not my fault though. So I guess we'll just open them, have some fun. Like I said, let me know, possibly in the comments below, what you might want to pull out of a pack if you're getting a box, or what singles you might be getting. Um, like I said, I want the Sneak Attack, Mana Echoes, Land Tax. So Cathartic Reunion, not Nissa and Chandra, waiting for that card someday, hopefully. We're going to go through the comments and uncommons pretty fast here. I mean, if you've watched the videos online, there's already a lot. That was good in Feather for like a hot second there. Sift. All right, so those are the commons. Uh, we'll put those up here. We'll keep, we'll put the mythics like nice and center, maybe cover the creepy eyeball, even though I love this mat. So let's go ahead and try this out. Bloodshot Train, Dread Return's pretty good. Clone Shell. All right, so we get our first land, Cascade Bluffs. Eh, it's okay. And Swift Blade Vindicare, not the best. I do love the Boros Legion, but um, go with something else. Throw Geth, that's okay. Mirror Smith, all right, and Cat Token. So, not too great on the first pack. Uh, I don't have any of the filter lands I used to back, way back in the day when I built Kalia. And we could get a Kalia in the set, I suppose, but uh, not something I particularly want. Driver of the Dead, Orgish Vandal, Elvish Aberration. So, was this like Lion of War Tribe now, but like it, the Lion of War Tribe is better? I guess that's how it's going. For Cast, Costly Plunder. Fortify. So what do you think the box toppers might be too? Let me know in the comments. I'm hoping for Stoneforge Mystic personally. I mean, something else. Uh, sword would be cool. Um, but still, anything I could really sell at that point. I just want the Stoneforge Mystic. So that'd be nice. Uncommons, Uncommons. Ooh, Isogron Scepter. I actually don't have one of those. I don't know... Uh, how everybody feels about Isogron Scepter. I know if you're doing Dramatic Scepter, it's kind of a pain in the a mm -hmm. the butt. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Anyway, so that's cool. And then we got, or we get Archangel Thune. I mean, I like it. It's not something I wanted though. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna be picky about this. Uh, there's there's stuff I want, and there's stuff I don't care about. So two foil commons. The foiling, I don't know if you can see, like it's pretty good. It's not bad. So they did do a pretty good job on the phone. I've seen a lot of comments about that on the videos. So there's that. Actually, I'm gonna move the rares over here. That way we can keep an eye on them uh, some more too. Next pack, these are a lot easier to open than uh, the Jumpstart packs, I gotta say. Might of Masses, Driver of the Dead. He drives the dead to their death. Urza's Tower, I don't have one of those either. Maybe I'll get the uh, set for EDH if it matters for some reason. Uh, Jalopnus Genesis. 
all of the evil jelly. Esper's up, oh, man. I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, so rumors going around this was like a master set for artifacts. Artifacts aren't my favorite, unless I'm playing blue or red blue. And Falkenrath, that's that's a terrible rare, honestly. And I already have one on top of it. So where did I put the rares? I moved them, of course I did. And two common foils. Honestly, I would prefer like a um, magma jet, I guess. I don't know if that's like a thing. All right, so another cat token. I didn't actually see, I know there's a copy token, which looks pretty cool, but I think it's just a lot of the normal kind of tokens that you get. Another aberration. Let's see, Defiant, Clear Shot. Expedition map I do like in the common slot. It is, I like to use it wherever I can, really. Uh, unless I'm playing, if I have utility lands anyway. I guess unless I'm playing green too. Hidden Stockpile, okay. I did like Revolt as a mechanic. Um, I even built a deck for my wife uh, around Tulsimer Wolfblood, getting Revolt, because you can just keep making Voja tokens. I mean, not like infinitely, but it works out. Oops. Don't want to ruin the surprise. So Mystic Gate, looks like I'm already ruining the surprise back here. Looks like a Goto. So Mystic Gate and a Goto. Again, I don't know why they included Goto. Was he really that expensive? I'll have to double check. Uh, right up at the rares. I can't see through my own arm, everyone. I need to uh, move the rares over. And then we have a Remember the Fallen. I do like the card, but as a foil, eh. Mirror Retriever, okay. I would use Mirror Retriever. I have used Mirror Retriever before. So just one mythic so far. Oh my god! Just one mythic so far. Don't don't uh, worry about my tiny voice. I'm gonna have to move all that trash too soon. A braid. That was a standard thing way back during Amon Cut. So I mean, commons for being commons, like everyone keeps saying, they're not terrible. Ooh, crib swap. It's an exile creature instant. And it's tribal, by the way. With that changeling playing humans. Playing angels, can tutor for that stuff. There you go. Buried Ruin. This is actually a card I'd recommend if you play uh, artifacts and you just have a slot open for utility land. I mean, there's gonna be better stuff, obviously. Trash to Treasure, that's another one. I rather like Wound Reflection. I have to, I, I'm gonna be honest. This is one of the, the reflections I didn't particularly care that I want. I want the green and the white one, just for the art. I mean, the art's not bad. I just have preferences. And the next rare is Endless Atlas. Was pushing six bucks. I don't know what it is at now. All right. So, kind of if on the rares. Two foil commons again. That's it's quite irksome, actually. Quite irksome. Uh, I don't think we've gotten anything. I think we got like one. Got an angel token. One uncommon foil. One, two. Sorry. I got, we got two. My bad. All right, uh, let's see, three left in the stack, eight per stack, 24 packs, if I remember correctly. And that's always a thing. Another not Chandra, not Nissa. Well, there's Chandra, Cathartic Reunion. Seriously, if they print that, I'll buy like two and a half play sets and I play Commander Brainstorm, okay. Do not want the Brainstorm uh, full art. That's, that's not something I uh, am in dire need of. All right, Sphinx of the Guild Pact, do like the art. Do like that, it's all colors. A little expensive for what the things do. Valor at Acros, topple the statue. Mesmeric Orb, okay. Uh, I don't have one of those. A lot of my, you know, financially it's eh, okay. Sorry about shaking the camera. Uh, but I don't have one, so I'll take it. This is all about stuff I don't have. This is going to be in my personal collection. I'm not opening this for anybody. So, and then we have Bloodsport Thane Racks. Okay, okay. I mean, it does the counter thing, sacks stuff. Could be good, gold green, green blue, or uh, green black X. And the uh, common, so we did, we got another uncommon. So uh, maybe we'll get a full rare out of this someday. Hey, clone token, I don't have one of those, those are nice. Take a look at that real quick. Yeah, I don't even know what it's like cloning. It's just a bunch of different stuff really, so, huh. All right, almost done with that first stack. Let's get to it. We still have possibly, I mean, what's the average on Mythics that I've seen pulled? Uh, probably around five for a box. This is, you know, normal box Mythic pull rate. Cast down, destroy target, non-legendary creature. I mean, that's not a bad removal. Uh, it just depends on your meta, really. Urza's mine. Okay, we got a third Urza land, or a second one, sorry. 
not to be forgotten, his brother Mistra has a factory. There you go. In case you didn't know, they were brothers. Payne Smith, heh, <laughs> cranial playing. Expiration, don't have one of those either. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's not, you know, terribly expensive, but uh, I'll take it. At this rate, Almond Almanath might become Titania. And what's this? Noble Hierarch, okay. Um, I don't know that I'll ever use it for anything, but it's good to have one in the collection. Chromax, Star for a foil, and a Pongify. Okay. I mean, I do I do run Pongify's places, so I could bling it out a little bit. What does this do? It's been so long. Uh, add one mana of any card, so it filters. Graveyard Battlefield, draw a card. Okay, so it's, it's good for some stuff. That's fine. Still, though, lots of common foils. Not a lot of uh, rares that I've seen pulled. Like one Mythic, so... I mean, I'll take a Mythic Sneak Attack. People don't seem to want those sneak attacks. I will take them off your hands, Fierce Empath. Cool. I will take them off your hands. Just send them to the Dirtle, and uh, we will take care of them. We'll find them a good home. I love to fling creatures around and deal the fast damages. It's all good for me. Core Tapper. We'll tap the core. Cut off the Flame Fiend. Boon Reflection. There's one of the arts I wanted. Uh, strategically, it's not that great. You just gain twice that much life. But I guess with Exsanguinate or something, you're just, uh, heh. <laughs> or not Exsanguinate, the other one. You're just dealing lots of stuff. And behind is Academy Runes. Okay. Sounds all right. I don't have that one either. So, oh yeah, Apprentice Wizard. Richard Kane Ferguson back at it. Thank my friend. This is one of my friend's favorite artists, so really happy about that. Maybe I'll give this to him. I hate to see what he does with it. Nice foil. And Esperzoa. Okay, so, yeah, gone uncommon. We'll get there eventually in Athopter to round out the artifact pack, I guess. So anyway, yeah, what about that rumor about the artifact master set? Uh, I don't really care for artifacts, so this is kind of a downer for me. So far, I haven't gotten anything that I've really super wanted. Uh, and, we'll, and we'll do a recap of the rares and the mythics afterwards. Sorry about that. That was my tiny dog. Somebody must be at the door. Uh, somebody else will handle it. Dire Fleet, Whisper, Tumble Magnet. I do like the art on it, though. Skinwing. See, another Bodulvian Rage, okay. Ancestor's Blade, I don't know who thought that was a great idea, but again, this is that draft set. I'm really looking forward to the uh, set boosters where it's not just for drafting because I hate when they do it just for drafting. Pondrify again, Ashburn's pretty good. Brimstone Volley, Blasphemous Act. Again, I know there's not money, but I only have uh, one or two of these, so I'll take a Blasphemous Act, but what's behind it? Eh. Huh? Council's Judgment. Okay. If I look that up, it was pretty pricey. I don't, I'll have to look it up again. Maybe Daryl can tell us below uh, how much it is, but uh, it was pretty pricey. I don't remember how much. Let's see. What do we have down here? Kazol's Toll Collector and Master Splicer. So another... Ooh, Worm Token, though. Don't have those Worm Tokens. Uh, so Master Splicer... Kazal's Toll Collector and stuff. Okay. Next stack. Pretty sure. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I guess we open one. Again, it got like shuffled around in the box, so I'm not entirely sure where we are. But we'll say this is the second stack. Still have two stacks to go, so I'm still got I've still got some hope. But you uh, if you've seen my last video for jumpstart, luck isn't necessarily mine. There's that Richard Kane Ferguson art again. Oh wait, my friend hates foils. I'll give him that one. I'll give him that one. I'm sorry. All right, weapon trainer. It's an okay uncommon. Especially if you go wide. Crop rotation. Oh good, I don't have one of those. Or at least I don't anymore. And Phyrexian Invoker. <laughs> and the poop continues. Let's see, choose an online card. I mean, yay, I guess. And what's behind it though? Conjurer's Closet. Okay, that's a little price. I mean, it's not going to break anyone's wallet in half. All right. Ooh, Everflowing Chalice, though. It's always a good card to have her hanging around. And Death Rite, or Death Reap Ritual. I remember when those were going for a little bit. I mean, nothing. Ooh, Squirrel. Ooh, squirrel, get off me. <laughs> uh -huh. I remember when these were going for a little bit, for a while there. Not recently, mind you, but uh, I was quite surprised. Quite surprised. There's just better stuff to do in black and green, but I guess somebody like tried to buy it out or something. I have no idea. Goblin Gaveler? Gavalier? Is that how you pronounce that? I'm not entirely sure. Rogue Existence, pretty good. Eh, let's see. Relic Run. Wait, what does this one do? 
Uh, blocked. Historic. Oh, eh. Well, there's a lot of artifacts. We'll give him that treasure mage. Okay. Artifact tutor. Extraordinaire for, well, one of them anyway. Pentad prism. Class Dex Hulk. And heat shimmer for the rare. Hmm. Box is not doing so great. And again, I always have that disclaimer about my luck. And ta da! Ooh, Stoneforge Mystic. All right, turn that pack around. Definitely love Stoneforge Mystic. I'm gonna keep you separate, actually. You're gonna be down there. Foil Frogify, because you gotta have your uh, nice sheen on your mucus. And ooh! Sorry if I sounded like a creep, but uh, Floody Grove Foil. I won't put it in an Omnath, but I'll find a place for it. I love these lands. I do. I don't want them all to be the rares necessarily, but uh, put that in the rare stack. Put the other foil over here. And the germ. Okay. So foil rare to land. I know people don't like them and there's like, you know, not as much value as the other stuff, but I'm playing for the stories, bruh. Yeah, that sounds weird for me to say. I'm playing for the stories. I want to see people's faces. I want to interact with people. I don't want to kill you turn four. You know how it is. We do casual magic up here in the dirtle. Man, everything I say, uh, say today, just, it's not right. Sorry. Sorry. I just, uh, I was really excited to open these. So getting stuff I want is kind of cool. Get, you know, otherwise, I'm a little bit down at the moment. Uh, oh, I put uncommons in there. I'll have to sort that later. Ooh, fatal push. Everybody's on about that. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Money. Money. I smell it. Ah, oh, you smell that? That's the smell of another couple, another piece of a box. Force of will. Yeah, I will sell this. I'm not into, like I said, we, I do casual. Uh, so, I mean, if I get a second one, I'll keep it. And Maze of Ith, which I also don't have anything of. So, second mythic. <laughs> Force of will. Maze of the Ith. So, that's cool. Uh, Dark Steel Axe and... Okay, Peace Strider. Anthopter. So we did pull a force of will. Uh, internet a buzz with everybody pulls a force of will, but you know what? I'll pull one. <laughs> That's fine with me. Let's go for mana crypt, sneak attack, land tax. Right? I don't even need the mana echoes. I just want one. Sneak attack I'll use in your tiller. Land tax I'll use in your tiller. Uh, I bring your tiller up a lot. It's one of my favorite decks. Another expedition map. All right. Irons the bullet. Oh man, there's some card, was it Blessed Spirits or something, where it has Ghosts of Children? And it just makes me so uneasy, just because they're kids, you know what I'm saying? Just this terrible Oval Chase Daredevil, Kaldish Racetracks, in case you're unfamiliar. Path to Exile, first one. And Maelstrom Nexus. Alright, I didn't really want that. It's a mythic taking up my slots, man. I mean, I'll take it, maybe trade it away or something. So, another mythic, Duplicate with the old art, creepy art of death and duplicating and doppelgangery, if you will. And two common foils again. Mm. All right, two common foils, not the best. I think we've only got the one rare foil so far, the land. Also Maelstrom Nexus, man. Mm-hmm, no, 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 I didn't want. That's <laughs> one of the cards I was hoping not to get. Divest, okay, the uh, not so great thought sees. Is that what it is? I forget. I don't play standard or any of that stuff. My apologies. Yeah, another apprentice wizard. Might have a place up by the end of the day. And treasure keeper at the uncommon slot. Let's see. Ooh, hinder. That's not terrible. Rush of knowledge. I wish it was, these things were instant almost, but. Death shadow. Is that still in something competitive? I forget, like modern or legacy or something. I'd have to look it up. I don't actually know. So let's see what's behind it. Eh, eh, eh. Batter skull for another mythic. It's okay. I'd use it. Still not without something I wanted for the collection, but you know. And eh. Uh, Stay commons again, man. Sad face. I mean, if we get another uh, rare foil, that's one of the lands or in, you know, any of these would be great. Foil force of will. Why not? All right, second to last pack in the middle stack. We have five mythics. I've actually seen one person, how many mythics did they pull? Like nine or something out of one box? Or was it eight? Yeah, I think it was actually seven because of the box topper. So my bad, my bad. But they were, they were, <laughs> they were pulling some pretty good stuff. I didn't hope for that necessarily, as you know, the luck. 
New crib swap. I do like the crib swaps. Oven old mysteries. She's dead, Jim. Uh, you didn't do a very good job there. Lightning Greaves, all right. Powerwatch, I do like that card too. And Reshape. It's okay. I mean, I might use it somewhere. Let's see what it says. Sacrifice an artifact otherwise. Okay, so it's essentially a bad artifact tutor, but yeah, whatever. And the card that everybody has. Hmm. Sadness. And then an Abrade and Invigorate. So at least it's an uncommon, but. All right, so that pack was a p to put it bluntly. Next pack, let's see. Also don't care if Brea or Atrax or any of that stuff. Don't play it, although I would be more, I'd want Atrax more than the Brea, if that's anything. Wasn't this uncommon in, uh, what was it, the last set? Wasn't it uncommon? I'll have to go back and double check. Just don't remember, oh, okay, there's our fourth one. Definitely have a place to have the Apprentice Wizard. Sphinx summon us, if you will. I oh, know, don't ruin my, my poor, a common stack of commons. All right, welding jar, first one I got. This is a, I've seen this in a lot of decks. Reclamation, I love that they chose this art. I'm so glad. Disciple of Bolas, that's a waste. Nobody asked for that reprint. And I asked, oh my God. Sorry, I don't mean to be dramatic. But uh, let's just take a minute to bask in the glory and probably my high sodium content. Who thought this was a good idea to put in this set? Like, really, I love red and I hate this card. So, I, I don't know. All right, off to the last stack. How many packs? Uh, speaking of which, all right, we got a full eight. Yeah, we got a full eight. All right. So, we, get, we probably got one more mythic on average. No guarantees, of course. And that doesn't include the box toppers, which are half curled over. I live in the desert. What can you do? Everflowing Chalice, Mirror Retriever. Okay, okay. Peace Dryer. Uh, Therban Painsmith. Yeah, this box is. Jeez. Ah, uh, good from back in the day. Skull Munchie and Mages of the Abyss. All right. What does this one do? Destroy target non-artifact creature. Well, who put this in here? Half the half the damn set's artifacts. I just don't understand sometimes. And Jora. I mean, I like the card, but uh, eh. Ooh, and a foil brainstorm. Uh, yay. Full glass does halt. Still no other full rare yet. Copy token. So, hmm, 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 hmm. Yeah, me just to the abyss. <laughs> Destroy target non artifact creature. I guess if you use all artifacts, it's good. If your opponent that if your opponent doesn't have a lot of artifacts, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay, okay, come on, box. We can turn this around. I mean, Force of Wheel is a great hit. Don't get me wrong. It's just not something I wanted unless I'm selling it, which I totally am. I know I'm hurting people when I say that. I know I am. I know there's just like there's some cringe out there, and somebody switched off the video. But you know, sometimes you just gotta let go of power. I'm not that competitive. Rage Reflection. I want the Mana Reflection. Come on. Come on. I love the Yard on Mana Reflection. I got Boon Reflection, right? I'll have to go back and check. So that'd be three Reflections. And Skull Sculpting Seal's actually not that bad. Ooh, Pirate Spell Bomb. I do like the Foiling on it, even though it's not the best card ever. But Sculpting Steel is not bad. It's basically what? Clone ain't Artifact on the middle of it, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy with that pack. It's all right. It's all right. I want to just go back. There's the pack so everybody can see it. I realized the last one I didn't quite show you opening the pack. So, yeah, Boon Reflection. And then we had the black one. Rune. I mean, it's a good card, but I don't particularly care. Dig yeah, Stoneforge Mystic, though. Ah, uh, yeah. Even if it's not the, like, full art, whatever one. Yeah, speak of the Devil. There we go. That That's not the card. <laughs> yeah. All right, Crushing Vines. I think that was underplayed during its time, really, but I had Fall Standard Lightning Axe. Nice art. Bone Picker, don't care about. Everflowing Chalice. Urza's is mine. Ah, So now a third Urza land. Fortify. Another Sphinx to Summoneth. See what else. Oh, Naginata. And. Darksteel Forge for the Mythic. Yet another card I won't use because of its stupidity with, like, Karn and things. But that's one of the Mythics. And. Sundering Titan, banned in EDH. All right, so that's worthless to me, basically. Ooh, shiny stone for or uh, stone forge, sun forger. We should shiny stone forge. That'd be great. So that's a foil rare. So that's probably because I've seen like an average of foil rares to a box. 
So. Alright, so on to the next pack. I also don't want an expedition map. I love the card, but we just pulled two. I'm pretty sure, so, you know. Don't want Lightning Axe, Blood Briar, Bone Picker, Skin Brand Goblin, Agrivian Restoration, Turn Target Artifact. Okay, that's not terrible. Chromatic Star, Magnifying Glass. Remember the Fallen. I will remember all the mythics that I got that I didn't want, which is all of them so far. Yeah, I know, cringe. Cringe, I dare you. Master Splicer, Sarasphic. I do love the art, though. I might use it in like something. And Sunken Ruins. Okay, I might use that somewhere. Do like the lands, like I said. And Thrag Tusk. Yeah, it just got reprinted though. Meh. Okay, Supernatural Steel Sabotage. And a Servo. Four packs left, ladies and gentlemen, slash non binary. I don't even know what all the words are anymore. But people, my fellow magic enthusiasts, can we pull something out in the last four packs that I might actually want? I don't know. I mean, we got some value, but. Nothing to make even on the box, I don't think. Urza's Power Plant. Oh, is that the third one? Or did we get that one first? I'll go back and check in a minute. Let's see, let's see. Throne of Geth. Okay. So many commons. Glad that got downshifted for sure. Mythic Sworn Cannonist. I don't care about you at all. Next. Merciless. Okay. I'll take another one of those, but still. It's not like they were super expensive. And two commons again. So we got Sunforger and a land for the uh, foil rares. That's probably where we're looking at the five here. We might get another mythic, but I doubt it. It's, uh, despite being double masters, it's just like a regular box and it's a little overpriced, if you ask me. Just a little, you know, a little by like $150. I actually had to reach out to some benefactors to pick. Oh, it was just mine again. Is that it's the third one, right? I'll set that aside so we can keep our track of it. I'll go back and look. Uh, Baldoving Rage is the third one. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Does this have anything to do with artifacts? It has to do with historic. Better Ranks 4. Actually, is that the first one we packed this box? It's the first one, I think, too. Fetid Heath. I mean, again, I'll use it somewhere, but I don't want like the whole set of these things. And okay, so that's something I wanted. Hallelujah, Sorafies and Famine. Sixth mythic for the box. Uh, make some room here. So, out, just to recap out of the ones. I mean, Force of Will, eh, okay. I'd probably use the sword, actually. That's that's probably all I'm going to be using out of this so far, out of the stuff I have built. So, anyway, back to the opening. Okay, so an uncommon. This isn't a terrible card, but it costing four initially is kind of a pain in the butt. Had he been like a one drop or something... I think the card would be a lot better. All right, two packs, and of course we still have the box toppers. Uh, all right, so let's see. Can we even get one more mythic out of these regular packs? Let's go check it out. I remember when Sword of Feast and Fan got reprinted in the, uh, what do they call them, the Challenger decks? And heh, I picked one up and then I had to sell it at some point. I forget why, and I was just always pissed at myself about that. Whisper of the Wilds. Core, Pirate Spell Bomb, another Brainstorm, yay. Spirit Calling Deus. Deus? 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 Deus. Yeah, there we go, Deus. And Valor Stance, Basalt Monolith. I'm surprised we hadn't gotten one yet. And uh, Fire, okay. Still, I like the lands, but still. Fire Lip, and what's behind it though? Eh. Eh, yeah, Grimwall, the Mancer. Yeah, Foil Dread Return, it has its uses. Okay, so not the best pack ever. Last pack, everyone, last singular pack. And this time, we will not provoke. We will invoke the grace of the Chaos Lords, the gaming gods, the divine makers of the cardboard, uh, you know, before it gets ruined in the printer and by Watsy or whatever. Twice as nice. Meanwhile, I have not seen either one of you, so don't even talk to me. Don't even talk to me, Mocha. Okay? All right, a little anxious. It's probably gonna end on a Urza's Tower. Okay, so we did get a whole the whole three down here. All right, nice. Crib Swap. I do like Crib Swap. Got a few extra now. But uh, Vampire Hex Mage, not terrible. Thopter Foundry. And Dismantle. Okay. 
Oh, Sunforger. I mean, I love Sunforger, don't get me wrong. But we have a foil. And... The thingies. Oh, that's definitely one I didn't want. Tempered Steel Foil, Euthopters. Eh. Alright, Sad Face. And Iron Bully. Man. They're really sticking to that two rare foils a box. Two foil rares a box, rather. Alright. So, recapping, obviously, our Mythics here. Archangel of Thune, Force of Will, Maelstrom Nexus. I mean, there's so many Force of Wills being opened that I've seen. It's probably going to crash a bit. Barra Skull, Dark Seal Forge, and Sword of Feast and Famine. I don't care for Dark Seal Forge. I don't care for the Nexus. I don't even care for the Archangel of Thune. Uh, the Sword I'll keep. So we'll go through the rares real quick and recap those, but to the main event. Well, I guess the uh, the reception, the after party. <laughs> what do you want to call this? I don't know. Sorry about the camera shake. All right, let's see what these are. Uh, they are already bent, so at least they're foil, right? Or they're not foil. I don't even remember. It did. We did find it. It was like it was like tucked down here in the box. So, and I like that's not the shop's fault. I'm you know I doubt they do it on purpose or anything. All right. Ready for the, I mean, look at that curve. That just sucks. It's like, I'm gonna have to bend that back out. It's gonna be losing value. All right, so flip and Urza's mine. Okay, it's another land I'm not gonna use though. So hoping for the next thing, it's double season. <laughs> yeah, I even chucked them over, it's doubling season. I have not owned one of those before. I do have a proxy though that I didn't use because I'm up against proxies too. Nothing against if anyone else uses them, unless your whole deck's a proxy. In EDH. Then I have a problem. If it's like Vintage or Legacy, I don't. Uh, but hey, doubling season. Nice. Uh, you know, bent to hell. I don't know. Can you guys see that on the camera? Yeah, you, you can see that. That's... It, no, just... Alright, so I'll have to, like, bend it back into shape. You gotta go real... gotta go real careful. Gotta ease it back in. You don't want to do anything to like put permanent creases in the cardboard. And it takes me a while to get these back. Cause you can get, you know, them out of shape. So doubling season, full art dino babies. And then we have the Urza's mine. So I don't know, the box was okay. I mean, I'll have to go and do the pricing. Dirtle, let them have it. Get, get the prices, go. All right, so while he's pulling those up for you, again, the box is okay. The guest on Forge Mystic got each of the Urza lands plus that one. Let's go ahead and check our rares. So there was uh, no real duplication that I was aware of. I'm gonna put the lands up here. We did get a second Sun Forge because one was foil. I'm not seeing like a ton of value in the rares. Rage Reflection. We did get three of the reflections. Sculpting Seal can be good. Um. That, that can go in the box and, and be forgotten forever. That was like the least, like I'd take Tempered Steel over Ion Storm. Maze of Ith, Flooded Grove as a foil. And there we go, some more lands up there. Conjure's Cause isn't bad. That was pushing up in price a bit ago. Council's Judgment, I have to check. Dirtle, you check. Boon Reflection. Cami Rune, so we did get some lands. Noble Hierarch, I don't know what that's going for anymore. So everybody seems to be opening one or two. Wound Reflection, Endless Atlas, okay, Mystic Gate. We did get a lot of lands. No, I'm just noticing. This was terrible. Still take it over Ion Storm. Ice Cron Scepter. Uh, that's also terrible. Ice Cron Scepter, I I mean it's not the best, but I don't have one, so that'll work for me. So let's see. Got the Conjurer's Closet, the two Sun Forges. And let's see what's over here. We've got a lot of lands as a recap here. The Kami Runes, Maze of Ith don't count their Koa. So what about this cycle? So we have, all right, no duplicates, but we did get six. So, I mean, it's good to have lands, but uh, all right. Well, let me know what you think. Dirtles, hope we got those prices done for you, don't you, Dirtle? And uh, let me know again in the comments what you were hoping from boxes, what you might have gotten. If you're going to plan on buying a box, buying some packs just to play with your friends, maybe go in on a box with a bunch of buddies, a bunch of uh, acquaintances even. And uh, what cards you're looking for for decks. And if you are going to do that, please support the channel by using the TCG Player affiliate link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this box opening. I mostly did. It was kind of a roller coaster. My hopes were high. I did get some cool stuff. Nothing I 
specifically stated that I wanted in the get-go, but uh, trade fodder at the very least, right? So, hey, you got what you get. And I'll see you guys on the next box opening. Thank you for coming to Dirtle with us today. Hit that subscribe button and go ahead and hit that notification bell so you're always up to date with our latest videos. Please leave a like and share the video with somebody who you might think is interested. We also post links to our videos on Facebook and Twitter at DirtleMTG. If those are the forums you choose to use, please check this out there. Until we can Dirtle with some magic again, see you around.